Hello, and welcome back to On the Hill. I'm Chris Nalakakos. And I'm Sasha Orsell. In a turn of events that somehow shocked everyone and no one, Caitlyn Jenner announced she is running for California governor as a Republican. Her being elected may sound impossible until you learn she's literally gotten away with murder. Politics, am I right? <laughs> Bill and Melinda Gates announced they are filing for divorce. So if you're looking to marry rich, there's now two billionaires on the market. D.C. statehood was approved in the House, and we at On the Hill have a very pressing question. What will the flag look like? With the new release of AirTags, Apple is quite literally coming out with trackers. So we're now one step closer to living in the dystopian books we grew up on. Orwellian in this bitch! At least they have replaceable batteries, so you won't break the bank when your boss makes you wear one 24-7. The first genetically modified mosquitoes were released in the Florida Keys, which sounds terrifying, but apparently isn't? It's like I always used to say, we're one wrong move away from Tracker Jackers. Is that the Hunger Games? Why, why would you even say that? The Hype House is getting their own reality series on Netflix, which begs the question, what will it even consist of? Humping the ground, saying the N-word, and then apologizing for saying the N-word? We want to wish all our graduating seniors the best, but they already have it. Dr. Fauci at graduation. Hmm. Inject me with a vaccine, and by vaccine, I mean your seed. On the topic of hot patriotic men, what's the point of Captain America for? If it doesn't have America's ass? I don't want it. President Joe Biden has luckily found time in his schedule to ban menthol cigarettes, but has been too busy to legalize weed. A bill to stop daylight savings is moving to North Carolina State Senate. I can never remember if that's a good thing or a bad thing. In other confusing news, the Disaster Girl sold an NFT for $500,000 to pay off her student loans from UNC. NFTs make CVS receipts look useful and good for the environment. At least you can put your gum in a CVS receipt since it's a real thing that you can actually own. The Princeton Review named UNC fifth in the list of best value colleges. Here are two UNC students who paid thousands to not live, eat, or learn on campus. Great value. UNC will not be mandating the COVID vaccine this semester. As the UNC alma mater states, and when I die, I'm a Tar Heel dead. I just didn't realize that meant this fall. The NFL draft just happened, and many view the new tight end Kyle Pitts as the best pick. I'd just prefer the position be named Tot Tukis. And that's all we have for today. Thanks for joining us. On, On the, the Hill. Hill.